welcome back to another reading video scholars i hope you got all your work done for yesterday so you can tackle on today's work let's get started when readers think about what a character is thinking this is called inferring Sometimes we can think about this by drawing speech bubbles above our characters. This way, we can fill in what we think our character is thinking, but not saying. All right, so let's get started with continuing reading Wangari's Tree of Peace. Let me get our book set up and we'll get started. All right, scholars, I have our book set up. Let's get started. The land is no longer barren. Sweet potatoes, sugar cane, and maize grow again in the rich red earth. So when something is barren, that means, as in this case, as in with the earth, it means that the earth is no longer able to produce fruit or vegetables, right? But now it can. So what information does the author give us to let us know that the land is no longer barren, that it can now produce fruit or vegetables? You see, the author tells us that sweet potatoes, sugarcane, and maize, which is corn, are growing again in the soil which is the ground. That is the information that the author give us to let us know that the land is no longer barren. Let's read the next page. The whole world hears of Wangari's tree and of her army of women who planted them. On this page, how does the illustration help us to understand that Wangari's trees and the women who planted them were well known. You see, if you look at the picture, you can see Wangari standing in front of the world with trees around her, right? That's what tells us in the illustration that her trees and the women who planted them were well known. All right, let's read our last pages. And if you were to climb to the very top of Mount Kenya today, you would see the millions of trees growing below you and the green Mongari brought back to Africa. On these last two pages, how does the author let us know that this is a true story? You see, the other let us know that it's a true story because he tells us that if we were to climb to the top of Mount Kenya today, we would see millions. That's a very large number, right? We would see millions of trees growing below the mountain. That's how we know it is a true story. And remember, if it's a true story, that means it is non-fiction. All right? That's where we're going to stop with our book today. That's the end of the story. Let me get us ready so I can show you what your mission for today is, okay? All right, scholars, are you ready for your mission for today? Yeah? All right. To start your mission for today, you're going to need a paper. I have attached one to the lesson, but you can do it on actual paper, okay? As you read on Rise Kids, you're going to need to draw a picture of a character in your story with a speech bubble and you have to fill in what you think your character is thinking as you read all right if you don't have a speech bubble with what they're thinking then you didn't follow directions properly okay so make sure your speech bubble is big enough so that i can read what they are what you think they are thinking okay that's your mission for today. So, are you ready? Yeah? All right, get ready, get set, go. <laughs>